and welcome back today we have the gloria force rtx duo um yeah very interested in this i haven't heard about these guys before so i'm kind of curious what it is that they have um if you guys are brand new to the channel consider subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back I try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest stuff um, if you guys are interested in this one, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com, and I'll try to get you guys here a pretty good deal. And of course, make sure you guys check the description below because I will leave links, so that way if you guys want to pick up some more. Um, yeah, I have a few of these in stock, so if anybody's interested, again, just hit me up. Okay, so the box here, it states a couple things. We're going to be doing the unboxing and then checking it out exactly what we get. Um, this features... Uh, Bluetooth 5.0, it does have the dual Wi-Fi MIMO, 5G and 2G. It's got a 1 gig of landline, 64 gigs of internal storage, and 4 gigs of RAM that's using DDR3. Um, it says it's using an Amlogic chipset, S905X4. So, wow, this is... It seems like it's going to be pretty good. Like, actually, I'm actually kind of stoked that... Uh, I'll get to test this guy out. So, yeah. There is the... How it's set up. So, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at the device itself. This is, like, very, very unique. Um, check this one out. It kind of reminds me, similar to a formula, like uh, how some of the little ones are, but it's a little bit different. So, um, yeah, pretty good. All right, so on the back, you do get uh, a couple options here. It looks like it's going to be like your AV ports, your optical out, your Ethernet, HDMI, and then also a power. It's going to be the micro SD uh, TF card slot there, so that's pretty good. And yeah, it looks like there might be a, like a little display there on the front, so we're going to go ahead and test this one out. Now, the other things that you do get in the box. Uh, so they sent me a Chinese plug so good thing for me is i do have somewhere around here uh, an adapter for this but i wish they would have sent me a us because this is this does nothing for me um you also get the hdmi cable it looks like it's just going to be like a standard cable some reading material that's going to be your um just the user guide and then your remote. This is kind of interesting how they have the remote set up in this little box. So, yeah. I wonder if it has batteries. And it doesn't look like it has batteries. Yeah. Uh, kind of disappointed about that, that power slot. So, um, Or the, the, the power cable. So, here is the remote. So, this screams uh, formula a little bit. It looks like they've done it a little bit different. But... A lot of things are very similar. This remote actually feels very, very good. You do need two AA batteries. So I did pull out my AAA. Actually, I did pull out my AAA because usually they're AAA batteries, but it is AA. Um, but yeah, App Force, Phil, you have a couple different options here. Multi-screen, my collection, settings, that's interesting. It's got like some options there at the very, very bottom, uh, right here actually, um, that I haven't seen the other remotes have. So pretty cool. They just customized it a little bit further so that way it's it's to their liking. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and test this out, plug this in, and see exactly what we get. So luckily for them, I actually do carry... Um, some adapters this one i will leave this in the description below because people i always when i travel a lot people always ask me like what do i use when i travel um this one is called the the nomad plug and yeah so going to be extremely easy so let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see if it works Okay, so I am going to be using the AudioQuest cable um, instead of their cable because mine's a very high-end cable and it always reads whatever specs it has if it is a true 4K device or not. Um, this power cable is so short. I have it stretched out to the max. It's extremely short. So that's actually very neat. It, it lights up right there in the front. A little gimmicky, but I like it. I think it's kind of cool. So, okay. Let's come here to the capture card 
and see exactly what we get. So to the world's TV entertainment, well, that was a quick little thing. <laughs> Gloria Force. Interested. I've never heard of these guys before. Um, I've had a few people asking me about them to see if it's any good. So, yeah, let's check them out. So, okay, pairing the Bluetooth. Okay, I already put in the batteries in for this thing, and then it automatically just picked it up. And then it says, this may take a few minutes. Don't press. Do not press any buttons on the remote. <laughs> good to read instructions. So it's obviously doing some sort of synchronization, updates, whatever it is. So literally, it says don't do it. Just leave it alone. Okay, so here we go. It's giving me options. It says choose a preference. Either select. I kind of like this. It gives you like two options. Like if I want that top one. If I want the bottom one, it just kind of like flips it over. Okay, let's do, uh, I don't know if I want that huge Gloria Force on the side like that. So I, maybe I'll do the the first one. Um, it's already check mark, and then I just come to the bottom, it says go to home launcher, and then it just goes. That's cool. I actually like this one a lot. Yeah, that's very, very clean. Okay, so when you first get it out of the box, there is nothing there's there's nothing on here that uh it doesn't help you it doesn't walk you through like to connect it to the wi-fi and stuff like that so let me see here's the ethernet port wi-fi is turned on and then add new networks okay so that's how that's how you get to do it so to connect it to the wi-fi those are the steps so keep that in mind i'm gonna go ahead and do that now so that that way i could get ida 64 and show you guys the specs and the device okay so i just connected it and then it automatically started downloading application like as soon as i got to the wi-fi it was like hey we're downloading some stuff it's updating whatever it is so like yeah, that's the first thing it does. So, do you want to install an update to this? Build an application. Your existing data will not be lost. Yeah, go ahead and install it. Um, it's coming from Gloria Force anyway, so I'm just going to hit done and just let it do its thing. Okay, so once it's done, it has to re restart the whole box. So, that's kind of what it's doing right now, which I'm okay with. I don't mind if those are the steps. I kind of wish when you first launch something, it guides you to this is the Wi Fi connect it please wait for download and then once it's done then it launches it for the first time so that way it's done and then when it opens up it says this so uh, as we advance towards new heights into bigger and greater accomplishments we are onboarding the f the flight to glory <laughs> okay whatever that means um and it's cool on the top right hand corner even has a little notification thing so that way you could see exactly what you have Okay, so on the remote, there is a mouse button, and I have to say, it doesn't work. Sadly, if I'm scrolling up and down, I can't click on anything. Um, this, this, where the, this is where, full transparency, if something doesn't work, you need to get something else. So, I have a re keyboard that I use. I also have the, just like a standard pad keyboard here that I can use. So I went ahead and plugged in the USB. That way I could actually like use the keyboard option or the mouse option. For whatever reason, the mouse on the remote, which makes it extremely frustrating because if you're trying to click on something or download something or whatever you're trying to do, uh, the remote has issues. So what do I do? I would probably contact them, let them know there's probably an update or patch that needs to come through. And that hopefully will solve the mouse issue on the remote. But yeah, so that's what's going on with the with the mouse. So there wasn't a pop up notification that it was done downloading. So typically what I do is I like to come here, three dots. I will come down here to my download history and it says that it's still downloading, but it's at 100 percent. So I'm just going to wait until it says it says it's done in the little cursor thing is still going here so i'm just gonna let it do its thing uh and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the apk okay so here we go we got ida 64 going finally was able to download that new yeah <laughs> so i'm just gonna open it from here i'm not gonna mess with too much of everything in here so 
Um, the box is advertised 64 gigs of internal storage. This thing has 53 gigs, 4 gigs of RAM. It does have the M Logic chipset. It is using the ARM Cortex A55. It looks like it's going to be a quad core, 64 bit. Um, pretty good. As far as your display goes, it is running a 1080p, um, and then it is a Mali G31. Android version, we have Android 11, the device is rooted, and the API level is at 31. So not bad. Okay, Codex, here we go. So we got a uh, decoder encoder, C2 Omex, of LATM, 3GPP, AMR, Flock, ALA, MPEG, Opus, RAW, and Vorbis. And it also has some extra ones here. Uh, you have some M-Logic audio decoders of LATM, DTSHD, um, MPEG, FF, MPEG, uh, L2. Yeah, some pretty good stuff. Um, and then for your videos, you have some awesome uh, decoders here of VP9. AV01, AVC, AVS, AVS2. Here's three decoders for Dolby Vision. Um, you have your DVHE, DVAV, and DAV1. That is great. Um, also, HEVC, Motion JPEG, MP2, RM10, 20, 30, 40, VC1. These guys have everything that you're going to want to get H263, H264, VP8, VP9. You have everything from Google, everything from MLogic, several awesome decoders. Yeah, this thing is like stacked with some stuff. And I mean, like you are pretty much like set to go with this thing. So cool. Let's uh, I'm going to do another video just to get a little bit more detailed on how the device actually works, because I know this is something that people are going to be wondering um, how to fix certain things and how to get th certain things going. So pretty stoked. I, I do like this thing, but it, it feels like it's going to be um, I don't know it's going to be distracting eventually while i'm watching tv or something but yeah hope you guys are doing well let me know what you guys think in the comments section below um and hopefully we could figure out some stuff here exactly what everything is included with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one